So rather sad news uh, for all those uh, uh, we need the politics and also one uh, we need the 2024 2020 elections and also 2016 elections. You know your recall say uh, all these times are uh, uh, election fraud cases echo pay more court between MPP and NDC. You now this man I could to one power some of the people uh, who led uh, successful uh, change. Uh, in in one bit cry MPP we made one of their cases I think in the 2020 elections uh, bra they were able to uh, make their case say uh, uh, 2020 elections of course you know, there was no fraud so the man who led the frontier lawyer Akuto Ampao sad news Abeka and Sir Patrick said he's dead now when this news came people were like okay is it true or is it is it just one of those things but we can confirm on authority said this is true. We are hearing and per what we are gathering on, he died today, the 20th of October, 2023. Uh, according to information, uh, uh, kind of but, uh, so he has been sick for some time now. So all these were no, uh, not HSA or J. Uh, but uh, we don't, it's a very sad note. Nyanko Pua, Unim Dioye, no, at the end of the day, no, and ne, and Otonsa, a friend, a lawyer, a kutu, ampao. So there's been a whole lot of reactions at El Koso, a Bimu Bibri, a uh, sympathizing with their, their, their family. Said this a very sad news. It was a series of videos, a kutu, ampao, Dioye, a young son, a baby, a few years, and I said, Nemo, a year, yeah, what the back kind, a baby, a young son, a age, he said, "In Saka, he said, 'Yeah, uh, one.' He said, 'One in 1950.' So if you calculate it by what, he should be somewhere around uh, 72, 73 years. But then, so sad. And this particular man too also doubled as the lawyer of President Akufuado and also the partner of Akufuado's law firm. But the AC, the NEC, we'll be giving you more updates as all of this our food. But I'm going to show video. I'm going to am on focus. This is his last video on Earth before he passed away." Badly. These parties have become instruments of self-aggrandizing. You know, people join the parties not because they believe in any ideals or anything of the sort, but because they see it as a route of making it in life. You know, and the 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 the, the manner in which the parties are financed, the patronage within the parties. Aside that, it, it ain't going to change much. Even if you brought Jesus Christ to run this, the parties as we have it now, it cannot be successful. Largely, these parties have become instruments of self-aggrandizing. You know, people join the parties not because they believe in any ideals or anything of the sort, but because they see it as a route of making it in life, you know. And the, 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 the manner in which the parties are financed, the patronage within the parties, aside that, it, it ain't going to change much. Even if you brought Jesus Christ to run this, the parties as we have it now, it cannot be successful. Largely, these parties have become instruments of self-aggrandizing. You know, people join the parties not because they believe in any ideals or anything of the sort, but because they see it as a route of making it in life. You know, and the 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 the, the manner in which the parties are financed. <laughs> Saying, you're unhappy about the country statement that Ghana presented at the just ended anti corruption conference. What, why were you unhappy that President Mohammed's statement or the national statement they don't have uh, right to information bill as part of the processes that, that the government was, was undertaking to achieve an anti corrupt society? I think that uh, you know a key element of any anti corruption program mm -hmm. is a robust and effective RTI law. Yeah. And it is indeed, in my view, extremely disappointing that in the Ghana country statement, there was not a single word about the RTI. Does that forebode, you know, bad tidings that, you know, there's, there's no commitment or intention of the powers that be to pass the law? I don't know, but I, I find it extremely surprising 
that but it wasn't you know, the present session address one of the addresses yes but i'm talking about this yeah. major international anti-corruption gathering the government statement did not have a single word of the app out here secondly if you look at the government statement i'll consider it that it's a statement of piles you know uh, how do you call it pronouncements and good intentions which may be belied by practical reality and um, uh, if they've talked about having beneficial uh, public beneficial uh, interest disclosure mm -hmm. in companies and uh, a public register so that some of the things that have emerged uh, from the Panama Papers mm -hmm. where you know people use devious means opaque and complex company structures to hide their interests will be exposed and so on. I am throwing a direct challenge to the president of this country that President Mahama, you do not need a law to set the precedent by declaring that all high value contracts and contracts in the oil and gas sector and in the mining sector, all of them should be put out on a how do you call it, a website. That's Sub what you are demanding of the president. Yes, subject of course to uh, uh, how do you call it um, uh, defensible uh, uh, rights of um, third parties. To, so to you want all the contracts put out? Who got what? Yes. Which agent did what? How much commission was he paid? Uh, you want to see all that? Yes. What's the, the name of the agent? Yes, because. All those things are being done under Article 1 plus 1 of the Constitution, which says that the sovereignty of Ghana resides in the people of Ghana, in whose name and for whose welfare all the powers of government are to be exercised in a manner consistent with. So all the contracts that uh, government so if, signs... If I, if I took commission from a Saudi Arabian company X to uh, facilitate the acquisition of oil block B mm. in the... Keta Basin, mm. you want my name to be mentioned, and if I got one CD, you want it also put out there. Yeah, yeah. if it's part of the contract. The contract really, why? Yeah. Yeah, so that we know what is going you, you on. Can, you can want the, the contract between the GMPC yes. and the uh, exploration company. Yes. But why do you want the contract? Mm -hmm. uh, why do you want to know how much commission the exploration pay, the company paid to either their lawyers? They are facilitators. Why do you want to know? No, that? no, no, no. That, that's not the issue. Okay, that's so then you don't want to know the commissions that people get paid for for that you want to know the contract between the gmpc and the exploration company yes okay so that that's that's not bad but you won't find anything there would you because if you look at the panama papers the experiences are in these commissions that that people represent other people at all. yeah but that that will be dealt with by this beneficial ownership disclosure mm -hmm. uh, how do you call it registry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that people cannot hide by public officials cannot use their nephews and wives and and uh, how do you call it friends. sons and friends you know to reap the nation mm, i see that's a very big challenge that you throw to the president we hope that he has heard you and that uh, he'll respond maybe he will hear you when we put out this program on the internet because it's actually in japan uh, right now as uh, on the state visits uh, i think that if he's committed mm. as he says to you fighting to be a denominator to, for to fighting corruption and promoting transparency and accountability. This, he doesn't even need a law. It should be government policy. Should I challenge him to that? And I, I challenge him also, you know, to use his influence to get parliament, if need be, to pass the right to information law under a certificate of agency, including all the amendments proposed by the select committee. Because they've done, they've passed complex laws sometimes when it suits them under certificate of agency okay that'll be it. that's what's our power uh thank you very much for watching you're unhappy about the country statement that ghana presented at the just ended anti-corruption conference what why were you unhappy that president Mohammed's statement or the national statement they don't have uh, right to information bill as part of the processes that, that the government was was undertaking to achieve an anti-corrupt society. I think that, uh, you know, a key element of any anti-corruption program is 
a robust and effective RTI law. Yeah. And it is indeed, in my view, extremely disappointing that in the Ghana country statement, there was not a single word about the RTI. Does that forebode, you know, bad tidings that, you know, there's, there's no commitment or intention of the powers that be to pass the law? I don't know, but I, I find it extremely surprising. That, but it was in know, the present session address, one of the addresses. Yes, but I'm talking about this yeah. major international anti-corruption gathering. The government statement did not have a single word of the RTI. Secondly, if you look at the government statement, I'll consider it that it's a statement of pious, you know, uh, how do you call it, pronouncements and good intentions, which may be belied.